Well, let's see how things are down in Florida. Debbie Taylor is there. I would imagine that Adam Dunn, we talked about not sliding last night, Debbie. He's about as hot as that Florida weather. Let me tell you, you are right on, Johnny. He has been red hot. He's been so consistent, and that's something that Jim Riggleman and Rick Eckstein are really glad to see. And it also has helped the other guys in the lineup, too. Here's more from Jim. I think he's really um, made an adjustment, uh, swinging at a few more pitches, um, whether it's through conversations with um, with Rick Eckstein or something that he just uh, self-imposed. He he, um, you know, the walks are down a little bit, doing a little more damage with the bat, uh, a little more aggressive on some pitches that maybe he wasn't swinging at before, but still uh, making making good decisions at the plate. You know, made a real good decision last night. Alaska was throwing great. He took a 3-2 pitch that almost everybody in baseball would have swung at, but he took it for uh, for ball four that set up Willingham's double. You know, Adam is uh, a, a true professional, and he works really hard. He has a program outside of the game that uh, he stays very consistent with, and uh, his preparation doesn't change. Um, he's He knows himself. is probably the biggest way that... Uh, I could describe it as that uh, he knows his strengths and he, he stays within his strengths and um, he's uh, got a good feel going. So I would say a combination of, uh, of his work habits, his preparation, and then ultimately executing it in the game. Do you think too that he's seeing pitches differently and maybe being able to hit mistakes more or just it seems like his approach is a little better right now? Well, it's it's because the results are there. You know, uh, all hitters, you know, will get pitches to hit, but some of them, you know, you foul pitches off at times, and and then you're forced to swing at pitches that are tougher or uh, uh, pitches that are more pitchers' pitches. So uh, he seems uh, to be taking advantage of some of those mistakes, and uh, but he's a good hitter. I actually hadn't been uh, that conscious effort. It's just for some reason, I think um, you know, I'm getting in a better hitting position earlier, and and. Uh, um, seeing the ball to where um, you know I feel like that, that if I can swing and, and hit it I, I think I can put a good you know good swing on it and, and put the barrel on it. Do you feel too that you're able to uh, maybe recognize or pick up some more mistakes than in the past or earlier in the season is that one of the adjustments? No I just think that um, you know in the past I would I would take a lot of first pitch strikes and and uh, you know you, you know usually that's the that's um, you know the best one to hit so um, you know I'm just trying to Find a, you know find a pitch early in the count whether it's you know early in the count or late in the count and and um, you know if I do get my pitch don't miss it. One thing too about Adam he's been consistent at the plate but he's also been consistent in the field and he has been playing pretty much every day which has definitely been you know an asset to the ball club.